Hello and welcome to another episode of Dark Souls. My name's Kevin, I'm from the TechBarns.com. Well, just TechBarns.com and GraphicsBar.com. And I guess I'm gonna go kill the Moonlight Butterfly or whatever that thing is. Mothra, basically. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> as of today, I uploaded some old stuff that we had from... Well, my friend Danny and I made a playthrough channel a while back, and we've deleted the channel, but I still have the videos, so I started archiving them. Yeah, it's uh, pretty cringy to go back and watch my past self. I don't know, a lot of changes have happened just in the last five years. And it's weird, because like, I'm not the same person I used to be. So, it's very strange watching <laughs> my past self and realizing how much of an asshole I was. Jeez. Had a lot of humbling experiences. I mean, honestly, the end of that year, like, I recorded that in 2015. Yeah, the end of that year, I got, like, a stomach ulcer and couldn't drink for six months. Few friends died in that time. It was just, just, yeah. I mean, people change. And you back to the forest. I should probably rest here real fast. Yeah, I'm not gonna go down a bummer story route. I was gonna, but <laughs> I have not had a mu like too much sleep last night and. Yeah, I just need to focus on this game. <laughs> My job has me waking up at 4 sometimes. Oh, fighting this guy's going to be a bad idea, but so I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to run past him. Nope. Not going to happen. Not today, buddy. Yeah. So, on Fridays, my job has me waking up at 4. If I'm doing overtime, it'll have me waking up at 4, but... Uh, yeah, I just kind of walked right into that, didn't I? I think I could wiggle out of it. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm alive. Take that, you tree. That's what you get for being part of nature. Yeah, so the forest is interesting in this game. There's Ents. These weird bush monsters. With whip like appendages. They're easy enough to kill the. Oh! As I freaking get chomped on. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting to do more damage, I guess. <laughs> yeah, a tiny little sliver left. Yeah. I'm in a weird mood today, guys. <laughs> That's what happens when you stare into the abyss all day. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna bring him along with me. New friend. Yeah. So, trying to make some progress today. I don't want a, another episode right now of me talking about my past and stuff like that because usually when I do that, I get way too into the story and I can't focus on this game and it becomes probably really hard to watch for you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not gonna do that. Big shiny door! Yay! <clears throat> it's funny too, for like the longest time I did not know this bonfire was here. Like the first couple of times I played through this game, I just kinda walked past it and just would run really, really far to get to where I need to go. Alright. Time to go kill some stuff. Good thing I've been leveling up my uh, strength like a freak. Whoops, missed. It's interesting too because you can kind of tell which hedges are like the enemies. And you can just do this to avoid traps. Because if I were to grab that item, they would just jump out on me. Yeah, it's a little bit of a cheap shot, but you know. 
Whatever. A fun fog door. Hmm, spooky. Mm, this tree. Get out of the way. I mean, the moonlit butterfly is like right over there, but there's some. I think there's a ring back here, so I think I'm gonna go for that first. What? Oh! God, I forgot about these guys. These weird frog monsters. Kind of cute. Huh. Frogs are interesting. So, um. Uh, back down Story Road. At least this one's not depressing. Uh, my aunt and uncle, when they lived in Napa Valley, so they had this pond in their yard, and one day my uncle's friend just dumped a bunch of African bullfrogs in there. <laughs> and these things got huge. Like, ridiculously huge. And that's what these frogs over here kind of remind me of. But, they were also kind of cannibalistic which is messed up because they're uh the younger ones would actually try to escape to the pool that they had oh geez one of these guys this is not gonna be a fun situation i'm gonna get the hell out of here so one day my uncle's in his backyard you know doing whatever and he hears this bird screaming or screeching and he goes to investigate and the bird looks like it's caught on a log so he goes to lift up the log and then he looks down the log and realizes it's not a log, but it's a frog. And this thing... And he, like, freaked out, dropped it. And so... This giant frog ended up taking this bird under with it. Oh, jeez! Oh, man, the other guy's pissed. Ugh. I don't want to be slow. I want to be fast and nimble. Got the ring, yeah. And avoid these guys. Hopefully not die. Yeah. Didn't die. Got the wolf ring. I think that helps with my poise, which is kind of nice because I keep getting knocked down. Yeah. I'm gonna slap that ring on real fast. It's better than nothing. There we go. Might be able to take a hit better. Jeez, these guys have a lot of armor. Yeah, you stab that tree. Give it the what for. <laughs> Show me on the tree where it touched you. That did not make a whole lot of sense. This is my 4 a.m. brain talking here. Eee. Call it 4 a.m. brain even though it's not 4 a.m. in the morning. Just... I don't know. I don't function well without sleep. Like, I'm a light sleeper as it is, and waking up at 4 just really screws me up. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be a problem later down the road, if you're a light sleeper, and also, Alzheimer's runs in your family. <laughs> I'm going to be losing my freaking mind when I'm like, 70. Ah. I forgot, like, I can get some help for this fight. I should probably go do that. Alright, yeah, I'm going to go back to the bonfire and, you know, humanity up. Maybe even kindle the bonfire while I'm at it because, you know, why not? I got the ring, I got some stuff, it's all good, baby. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do some little fun stuff real quick. What the. Oh. Hey! <sighs> you! Rude. 
Now it's art. One thing I don't like about this uh, game is that it automatically maps stuff to your uh, to your X button inventory. I don't know how to describe that, but it's really annoying because then you have to go back and like get stuff off of it. Uh, actually, I should have left that on there. <laughs> Lots and lots of inventorying. Yeah. Fun stuff. Alright, let's kindle this bad boy. Back to the topic of the video I posted, you know. The cringe video. Me and the cringe subject. It's weird, too, because it's like... It's always foreign to look at your past self, like, where you were, who you were, you know, at that time and place. Uh, yeah. Had a habit of saying, I still say stupid stuff, but, you know, hopefully it's less stupid. I'm trying to swear less for these YouTube videos. Just stay down, dude. I don't want any. Ah. Oh, God. This is fun. <laughs> uh, what really... Here's me making excuses again. What really messes me up is that, like... I'm really reactive to audio cues, right? So... Well... Revealing the curtain here, or moving the curtain to show you what's going on. Uh, I have to have the volume really low on the TV so it doesn't have any feedback with the microphone, and so I didn't hear that guy coming. I mean, you know, that's like the problem. With, like most of the characters on The Walking Dead are freaking deaf, right? <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Kind of a waste of a humanity, but all right. Okay. Let's do this. If I need to make this video longer, I will, but I really want to just kill this boss. On the topic of, uh... <laughs> cringy things when we did when we were younger, uh, if you guys want to, like, post some cringe stuff that you did, feel free to in the comments. Jesus, this guy again. Yeah, maybe I could just run to the boss. I say that every time and I get killed, so... Jeez, that guy's got some reach. Hey! Freaking cats. I'm just gonna run up here. Drink this. Light this guy on fire. And we both can't hit each other, so we're, you know, at an equal footing. Actually, I shouldn't be using that. I need that for the boss. Jeez. Ugh. Here they come to ruin my day! Oh, wow, that one shot at him. That was good. Ugh, there goes my back. Go away. Hate these guys. But it's really fun to play with their dead bodies. Look at this. Whee! Sorry, the cats are fighting in the background. They won't stop. It's really annoying. They've been doing that the whole time. All these beats having kids. I mean, I know some of you guys out there have kids, but I could never do it.
Alright. Time for the boss fight. Jeez, half those videos gonna be me just like yelling at the cat. Ugh. I mean, any time of day would have been better than last time. Alright. Time to fight this guy. Oh, there he is. Oh, jeez. Ooh. And you fool. Oh, I'm out. Alright. And he's down. That was overkill. I didn't even need Beatrice. <laughs> Alright. We did it, guys. We did it. Fighting cats and all, we did it. Yep. More stairs. More stairs than a Stairmaster could handle. You know, I kind of wonder if they just like... Well, since this is the same character model as Andre here, if they if this guy actually has bones... Ooh, a Divine Number. So the Watchtower Basement Key makes it so we can like... Go find Havel. I mean, I could have opened that with the Master Key, but... I just didn't do that. Back to what I was saying, I wonder if they have like an armature for this guy, like if, you know, I can glitch it out and make this stone dude fight me. Whoa! His anvil has a life of its own, look at it go! Here we see the great migration of the blacksmithing tools. So majestic. Sorry, I'm kind of proud of myself for doing that. <laughs> I was not expecting that to actually do anything. I'm just going to attack the statue for a second and see if I could trigger it to do something, maybe via glitch or something. Eh. Maybe an electric weapon would work. Sometimes in this game when there's like something that's like rigged, rigged as enemy, has an armature or bones, if you know 3D animation, you can sometimes glitch into like working, you know, and doing a set list of stuff you know like it has like a set list of poses and like actions and stuff like with it there's this dragon that's over in the painted world of Ariamis that does that you can uh it detaches itself from its lower body and if you kill the upper body and run up and attack the legs with an electric weapon it'll actually stand up because they kind of like use that as an enemy type later on they're on a budget so ugh Guys, get a room, jeez. But yeah, uh... I just wanted to see if I could do something, you know. Ugh. I don't want to fight that guy. Looky here! Oh. Huh. That's weird, like, the bottom of that tree is... Doing goofy shit over there. Anyway, moving right along, I'm just gonna go back to the fire and just you know, end the episode there. <laughs> Just level up. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? I killed their god and they're not happy with me! <sighs> I feel like the reason I do this jumping attack is that later in uh, Dark Souls 2 and 3 it's a little broken. In this game, they kind of, like, punish you for doing that, for attacking things like a wild animal, but... For some reason, in Dark Souls 2 and 3, like, if you do that move, like, just right, it usually does a lot of damage, and... Great. This guy... Ugh. 
There we go. Just negates a lot of stuff. Alright, time to level up. Do, 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 do. If you're gonna be stupid, you better be strong. Real strong. <laughs> I'm just gonna make things less entertaining for you guys by just like nearly one-shotting everything. Alright, so I'm gonna end the episode here. Like, comment, subscribe, check out my websites, like that comment. Ooh, that was some thunder in the background. Alright, you guys have a good day.